This is the fifth episode in the Older Line series. If you haven't already, watch the first episode on the East Trail Line and the previous episode on the Disneyland Resort Line. As with the previous two videos, this video will not be narrated by me. The Airport Express started service in July 1998 as a quick and convenient way to go from the city to the new airport at Chaplai Kok after the one in Kai Tak closed. The Airport Express is the third longest line at 35.3 kilometers. This line uses modified A stock trains, and the trains are fitted with more comfortable seats, luggage racks, free Wi Fi, and charging outlets. The Airport Express utilizes eight car trains, but only seven cars are accessible to commuters. The eighth car is used to store baggage for the in town check in service, which allows passengers to check in their luggage from Hong Kong and Kowloon stations before boarding the train, which is then loaded directly onto the flight. As previously mentioned in the Tung Tung Line episode, the AEL and TCL share tracks due to a budget restriction. Normally, the train averages frequencies of 10 minutes, but due to the COVID-19 pandemic slashing demand, the train now arrives every 30 minutes. Our journey starts at Asia World Expo, the newest station on the AEL. The Asia World Expo is one of the two major convention exhibition facilities in Hong Kong, along with the Convention and Exhibition Center in Wan Chai. It was opened on the 21st of December 2005 and has hosted many large events. Before the opening of the convention center, the tracks only acted as a turn back siding for the Airport Express. The platform gates at Asia World Expo are different from the rest of the line to accommodate Tung Chung Line trains. These can be used to alleviate congestion when large concerts are held here. Asia World Expo has two exits, but exit B is only open during large events. Still on Chap Lai Kok, the airport station is situated right next to the airport departure and arrival halls. The airport station is the only station on the MTR network where there are no ticket gates. Anyone may enter the train as there are no barriers. However, a valid ticket is required to exit the station at the destination. The Airport Express follows a scenic route along the north coast of Lantau, following the North Lantau Highway, then going through the Cap Shreemun Bridge and Chingma Bridges. The next station is Chingyi, an interchange station with the Tung Chung Line. Passengers traveling from the airport can use the rest of the MTR network for free, only having to pay the Airport Express fare. There is also a morning express service on the Airport Express from Chingyi and Kowloon to Hong Kong Station from 7 to 10 am, costing around $20. Otherwise, commuters will take the Tung Chung Line to go to Hong Kong and Kowloon stations. Chingyi, like all other Airport Express stations, is colored light grey. The architect did this to make the Airport Express stations feel like an extension of the airport. After this, the Airport Express zips past Lai King, Nam Chong, and Olympic, stopping at the next station, Kowloon. Kowloon Station offers the in-town check-in service. Originally planned to be called West Kowloon Station, Kowloon Station offers a connection to the modern-day West Kowloon Station on the high-speed rail link. The catchment area of this station is small. Most passengers using the Airport Express station here have used an Airport Express feeder bus to get here. Nine feeder bus services operate for the Airport Express, four terminating at Kowloon and five at Hong Kong. These buses connect to major hotels for tourists and are free to use. The Airport Express then terminates at Hong Kong Station. The airport only uses Platform 1 at this station. This station also offers the in-town check-in service. Hong Kong Station is an interchange station with the Chung Chung Line along with being a connecting station to Central. At Central, passengers can take the Chun Wan and Island Lines further into the city. This marks the end of the Airport Express Line. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the other videos in this series and check the channel again soon as we aim to cover all 11 lines of the entire MTR network in this series. Thank you.